So I love fall and I've been doing a lot of pumpkins, but I also wanted to do just some fall themed colored hearts. And so I thought this one was really fun and simple. It's a way to kind of play around with some dotting. Um, we're gonna do a mixture. I've got my black Posca pen and then I've got three colors of acrylic paint back here that we're going to be using as well. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna get started. We're gonna lay out just a heart shape on our rock. So it just depends on your style of heart that you tend to draw. If you cannot freehand a heart, that's fine too. Cut yourself out a little piece of paper and place it down on your um, rock and trace it. That's okay to do that. So I'm just gonna lay it out on here and the heart is going to be the main design so we don't need to save space around the outside of our heart. Go ahead and fill up your rock with your heart like that. Now we're going to make vertical lines across our entire heart here. This guy keeps rolling in my way. So we're going to start fairly close to the edge. You want to have enough space to add some dots on each one of these. So just about there. And then you can just put them about equal distance apart. No need to measure or anything across your whole stone. And then we're gonna go along each of these and we're gonna add, um, you can do whatever shape you want. I'm going to be doing dots on here. And this is super simple rock. Um, once you've seen it once, you can make these in lots of different color combinations. They turn out so cute. So we're just gonna go along each one of these lines and we're gonna make circles. And you can do clusters of them next to each other. You can leave some space. These are kind of like the little dangles that we do. Uh, you can use your rock to, you know shape to kind of decide if you've got any lumps and bumps you can avoid them pretty easily i like to try to make the set circles centered on the lines and you don't have to worry about filling them in because they're going to be filled in on top of this dot with our fall colors so i'm going to work my way across the rock Okay, we've got our dots on. I've allowed them to dry a little bit. Um, when I'm dotting, if I'm only gonna be doing a little bit of each color, what I do is I take my paints, and these ones come out the right consistency, so I don't have to worry about mixing them. Shake it really good, and then I unscrew and work right out of the lid, because enough paint lands in this little glob that you can do quite a few little dots with something like this. So I'll hold this over here. And I'm just gonna take my dotting tool, really load it up with the paint so that it's really on there. And then I'm gonna come through and I'm just going to dot a few of these dots with the orange. And when you're dotting these, it's good to kind of get down. You wanna be, your eyes almost wanna be level with your rock so that you can see when that paint touches how wide it gets so you don't go over your outline. That top one, I got a little carried away. I was talking while I was dotting. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this with orange and then we'll work through the rest of the colors. I will speed that up, but I'll let you watch the whole thing. So enjoy the tunes.
and that's it how adorable is that now every once in a while look i've got a couple that accidentally kind of bled into each other so i'm gonna let these dry completely 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 let them dry then i can go back in with an extra fine little black line um, and separate those two so i'll share a picture of that here and that's it so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe all that good stuff we'll see you soon with another fun rock painting idea bye bye